So let me get this straight. A man can't text you guys, what are you doing? Because you got two, three thousand dollars worth of monthly bills. I don't think y'all really out here looking for like a real man, like an alpha man, a king, somebody who can teach you, guide you, lead you, somebody that you can actually build a foundation with, you know, get some genuine chemistry going. Some Y'all not looking for that. Y'all are out here looking for somebody to help you. Y'all are out here looking for a sponsor, somebody to sponsor your lifestyle. Because I'm trying to understand when did it become a man's responsibility to even give you anything during the dating phase? A man is not responsible for your monthly bills in the dating phase. You're not his woman. And what makes you think that a man does not have his own bills? His own responsibilities. That is why a lot of you ladies cannot enjoy the dating phase because you are out here dating for all the wrong reasons. When you are dating somebody, it should really only be about just seeing if you and this person got a connection. Can we build together? Are we on the same page? Do we got the same beliefs, the same values? Something along those lines. But y'all get so frustrated. Well, he keep texting me what you doing and he ain't asking me how much is my rent and my kernel. That's not his problem. A real man is not getting ready to lead with his money. Only an insecure man lead with his money. There is some man that will give you money in the first couple of months, but that's a man that don't know himself. A man that knows himself, he's going to find out a turn off that you're even asking him for money. Allow that man to give you that good gesture. A man that is genuinely interested in you, he's going to see any type of weight that he can lift off of you so you wouldn't have to ask to begin with. But if you ladies are out here drowning in your own monthly bills like that to the point where you frustrated and can't date somebody for the genuine reasons, then you shouldn't be dating. You need to go worry about your bills, get them situated, and then come back to the dating field because your bills is nobody else's responsibility but your own. As long as a man is respecting you, making time for you, and he's showing you that he is consistently interested, that is all you should be asking for in the dating phase. Y'all got to stop this. Y'all begging way too much. This is, that's dry begging. That's what that is. Ooh, I, you know, it's not too much more I can say about that. She just spit a lot of straight facts. And I know it's going to piss a lot of women off, but it is what it is. You know, these are the type of women that you women that do what she described are going to lose to. Her and other women like her that know the difference. Because, see, what you need to understand is women, just like she said, if we see a woman and we see that she's not a gold digger, she's not a 304, and we see that she actually needs help and she's a genuine good person, men don't have a problem with that. But when you start off communication with somebody and you just demanding and begging and, and expecting and, and, you know, just assuming that somebody is going to do this for you and pay for this for you and all that, it's an immediate turn off. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.